Our team coverage of this quake continues with 10 News reporter Joe Little. He arrived in Napa within just the last two hours and has been gathering the latest since he hit the ground. Well, guys, as soon as I got to the area, I came right here to Main Street in Napa. And you can see behind me here some of the buildings here. Around 319 this morning, all of these walls here were windows. Now 320, all boarded up, windows shattered. And the store at the end of the block, the Shackford store, they, hit, they were hit pretty hard. Probably the only bottle of wine that didn't break yeah. Napa. Yes. Jackie Shackford used to live in San Diego, but she came up to Napa to help run the family business. Uh, well, I was at home and it woke us up. She's never experienced anything like this before. Holy crap. Pretty bad. And it's going to take days to clean up this mess. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even begin to guess. A lot of glassware, a lot of uh, cookie jars, everything. Now, I've only been here for about two hours, but I can tell you people are driving up and down this main street taking pictures. It's very quiet here. There's sort of a, a, an awe as what happened here. It hasn't happened here in a long time, at least not to what people can remember. Uh, I'm going to take a walk down the street and try and check out some other buildings here and talk to some of the people who are out here just sort of walking, taking it all in. And I'll have that for you in a live report coming up at 6 o'clock. Until then, reporting live in Napa, Joe Little, 10 News.